there had been journalists in prison, charged of terrorism, like 18 years, 14 years, convicted. But when you started writing in, on internet, it was just a honest interest on what's going on in country. We didn't really thought that we had been surveilled and that the government would take us seriously. The name is derived from the bigger prison in Ethiopia, which is Karliti. The prison has eight zones. When we visit one of the political prisoners in zone eight, she told us they call the other part of the country zone nine as it's a bigger prison. At that date, we decided, okay, let's call our bloggers collective zone nine. The security forces responded with firepower and a wave of political arrests. At least 30 civilians were reportedly shot dead in June. These pictures provide evidence of large roundups. The demonstrators are saying, save us, save us, as they are led away. People often refer to us as journalists and bloggers. But everybody in Zone 9 has some sort of profession. Blogging and activism was a part-time job, actually. We are exercising our rights. That is the basic thing. As any citizen, I mean, it could be a doctor or a politician or somebody from the streets. Everybody has a right uh, that is enshrined in the constitution, so we are doing that. Like the most recent one, 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 ምጨርሻትንሽዋ <laughs> The Ethiopian government is well known in cracking the private media. The public have no other choices than the government media outlets. Therefore, uh, I personally believe that there should be uh, something else that people can interact with each other and get some information. And uh, uh, I can contribute for that endeavor. Before we came as a collective, we work as individual. All of my friends uh, used to blog to encourage people who were imprisoned for, for freedom of speech. So it was our common goal to visit them and to speak out for them. So we create like a family in social media. We are just nine people writing about democracy, human rights, and social issues that affect, affect our lives. To meet with other bloggers makes you feel that you are not alone. It makes you feel that the community is growing bigger and bigger by the time, so uh, you feel that you make differences at the end of the days. When time lapses, we start to feel the heat and we believe that we may be targeted and we may end up in jail. That's what happened actually. That was my first time in prison. The torture, it was indescribable. I was just telling myself that it will pass. 
uh, I was thinking about people who has passed through that chamber uh, in, in in other re regimes, including this one. So that keep me uh, brave. Even in times of trying in, in the torture chambers, you meet a lot of people whose humanity is more giving hope to your heart than the ones who damage you. So the people who help you after interrogation and even the policemen who show some kind of humanity and kindness to you will give you hope that in the future everyone cares about the human safety and that's, uh, that's I think, something to treasure. I met Aluna, but Amber Miguel Mita, but Ambusor met Alna. Our Lemsari, the Sias Gadun, Wim Simatun, and the Emanu Yalu Simatun, for debate Hayden Nasusai and our Lemsari Nasusai, because Nasurum, Bertat Hononi da Luna, Cadu de Bon, Mitro Benusun, Su Telic Bertat Honunial Via Savanona, which the Mosrenian and the Mugu Ramana and Sama, but Canyan de Om, Mimbiasavalo. ከታሰርን በኋላ ነው በብዛት እየሰራ ያለው ምክንያቱም ስለኛ መታሰር በተወራ ቁጥር ምን ያክል ሀገሪቷ አፋኝ ህግ እንዳላት ያሳየን ነው ስለዚህ ታስረንም ካምፔን ያረግን ነው በየሰበበ We learn is that there's nothing small for government as long as it's not the idea that they wanted to advocate. You know, whatever initiative you have, uh, dictator regimes like Ethiopian government doesn't see it easily. I'm totally amazed by why people go to anger because somebody else has expressed him his opinion writing. I didn't get why they, because they can replay they have equal um, opportunity to say what they want to say so it's so totally a complicated matter for me i don't even get how that undermines constitutional order and how it is found uh, an act of terrorism or how it is suspected as uh, something that promotes terrorism we asked the government to respect the constitution uh, uh, that led us to jail, uh, which is that is clearly unconstitutional. There will not be such a time that I will stop writing because we have to create a, a platform for public discourse. It's not something that you can achieve in uh, my age or in the in this certain period of time. Rather, it's a certain uh, continuum. So uh, I believe that there is no time to stop. I'm very proud of the nine and what I did in general because uh, now I, I, even though it's very insignificant, I know that I've tried my best uh, in. Uh, Given the circumstances, I, I knew it's very hard to, to, to speak out against the government in Ethiopia, and I didn't remain quiet. We sacrificed something for this process, but we sacrificed it for not the tool, not for Facebook or not for the blog. We sacrificed it for the bigger idea of asking questions, raising issues, and saying whatever we wanted to say, because we do have both a human and constitutional right given. So. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think so.